Here we're, we're going to look at the analysis of inks, particularly in pens. And while you may think they're all the same, there's actually some unique characteristics and identifiable characteristics that can be applied to forensic science. So first off, just a general ink comparison. So if you get this kind of uh, container here with a bunch of pens. Well, inks in question documents may be examined and compared with other inks of the same document or with ink in other documents, even with ink that's in seized pens. So this is important to consider uh, collecting, if you're collecting evidence, to be collecting pens from the area of the crime scene. Because the goal is to determine where the similarities and differences potentially may exist. So when we're talking about comparing inks, if an old document has newer ink or alter alterations to that ink, it could be determined. If you look at kind of the straight copy here, everything looks the same, but there are certain techniques that we can do to determine what might be a different ink, what might be a new ink, uh, and it can allow us to see some changes that may have been made in a questioned document. So just in general, well, what is ink? Inks are a complex mixture of colors and additives and a simple diagram describing the selective reflectance of a pigment. So we have kind of, we'll say, say white light with all wavelengths hitting our ink surface. It's, on, it's absorbing these different colors and reflecting, in this case, the blue color. So we'll interpret that as blue ink. Now we look at a little more technical kind of terms uh, to identify ink components. Scientists can use uh, infrared or mass spec or chromatography in both the glass, gas, or liquid phase. Uh, this can help determine a signature to that ink, what particular components and ingredients are being used to specifically identify that one particular ink. Well, why would we have this high degree of specificity? Well, there's actually an international ink library where a lot of inks from different manufacturers um, are stored. It's maintained by the U.S. Secret Service and the International Revenue Service. It includes more than 9,500 inks dating back to the 1920s. Every year, pen and ink manufacturers are asked to submit a new ink if they have new formulations. So this is a giant library of inks that can allow uh, pinpointing of if a pen was used to try to identify uh, what time period that pen came from and how that might be able to impact the materials found at the crime scene. These are chemically tested and added to the reference for collection and this is what develops this library which allows for this great database to be used for comparison when we're trying to identify certain inks.